In our dummy WooCommerce store, we have three products. One of them is a simple and two of them are variable, but I'm gonna show you how we can smarten up how this looks when you're in the product view of your WooCommerce WordPress admin dashboard. Let me just clarify, we have a product that is a simple, it does have attributes aligned to it. However, that's for filtering purposes, but it is still a simple product. The second product is a variable product. So again, we're using attributes, but now we can define the variations and we have different costings for them. The third product, which is a new one I added, is again a variable product with attributes, but we have less variations. So we only have residential. And the other one, I was also using commercial. So when you come to look at your products view, you got the name, you got the stock, you got the price, categories, tags, featured, and all of that. But wouldn't it be really cool if you could also show the attributes and if it was a simple or a variable product? You can with some code snippets and there'll be link in the description for you to go and get those codes. So I'm gonna go and activate them. Here are the three snippets and I'm gonna quickly explain what they do. The first one here is gonna add the attributes as an admin column. The second one is going to add the product types. So is it a simple or a variable? I'll explain why that's important and hopefully it will make sense when you see it. And the third one, which you don't need to do, actually reduces the width of the product name. And just to let you know, in case you were unsure, if I go and edit it, you will see over here that I'm touching this particular column and I've made it be 14%. And I've also let you know about some other columns if you wanted to go and mess around with them. If I now go back to view my products, can you now see the name has been slimmed down and we have the product type and we have the attributes. I'm going to go to screen options and I'm just going to get rid of the featured as well, just to make it a little bit more easier to see. So we've got the tags, which we could get rid of. We've got the categories. We still got a lot of the details we had before, but now we have the definition of simple or variable. So over here, I've got the attributes and you're going to probably wonder what is the point of that? Look, let me explain. I can see here that I've got all of the attributes applied, residential, commercial, and then the service type attribute. I've got site, visit, and online. Over here, I've got exactly the same, but you remember for the consultation, I was not showing the commercial option for the property type. So I can see property type residential, service type site visit and online virtual. And if you go over, you'll see here site visit online virtual, but we only have uh, residential. On the other ones, we've got site visit and online for residential and commercial. So I can now see that I have not got the commercial one activated. Also, by showing the product type, I know that this is a simple. Therefore, I may be using the attributes, but you're not going to be able to select them. They're just going to be there uh, as part of a filtering process if you were to go down that road. Whereas here, I'm using them and they are a variable product, meaning when you go to this product, you can select them. Of course, you could say, well, I know that because over it here, it says 149 to 399. That's pretty obvious. But this just makes it a whole lot clearer for you. And we did that with free, free code snippets, free, three code snippets. And the link for them is in the description.